Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we'll be sewing something really simple, um, really easy for the novice sewer, um, and it allows you to actually get something really pretty and nice with very little sewing skill. I, um, it's going to be something retro today. I was looking through our cedar chest at pictures, you know, and um, I found this picture of owls, these fabric owls that I'm pretty sure my mom made. I vaguely remember these growing up. And um, these owls, they're long gone. But I was browsing on eBay and I found vintage panels, uncut of this particular, those particular owls. And I'm really excited. I'm going to have a lot of fun with decorating with these. So that's the project I'm going to show you how to do today. It's primarily all straight stitch on a sewing machine. You can also hand sew these things um, if you don't have a sewing machine. Um, and in one of my videos I'm sure I'll demonstrate a straight stitch to you that's almost as strong as a machine stitch. But uh, let's get started on these and cut these out and prepare them. These things pretty much guide you through every step of the process. We'll be stepping these with uh, polyfill and you see how they've got this, the um, seam allowances marked out for you. We'll be sewing along this colored surface and these will be clipped once we're done. I left this entire process in of cutting them out because, well, I found it satisfying to watch sped up, uh, so I figured you guys probably would too. found a little stain, but these are vintage panels and you can't really tell on the calico owls.
I chose some um, dark brown thread that matches the dark brown parts of the owls rather well. I'm putting right sides together and matching them up as closely as I can so that when I stitch them, no white seams will show through. When sewing something this small in cotton, I really don't normally use pins, um, but I did um, for you guys' benefit because for a newbie, they really are helpful. Um, but uh, like I said, I usually don't use them when I'm doing something this small. I usually just use my stiletto, which at this point I had forgotten that I had but that's just me. I haven't sewn something this small in cotton since I was sewing a bazillion masks for the pandemic. So naturally I forgot I had a stiletto, which always makes that easier. So I break this up, I don't, I filmed the whole process, but I'm only using clips of me finishing the other ones, stitching the other ones. But you'll wanna, you know, do this with each, same procedure. With these tight corners, I'm having to pivot and, and raise my presser foot um, and bring it back down. And there, there are, there's my stiletto. And I stitch really close just inside the color part of the panel. So I'm clipping all the curves and the, the points so that when I turn it um, wrong, uh, inside out, um, it will lay nicely. And at the points you see that I'm uh, clipping the end totally off. Makes it a lot easier to turn it. When clipping curves, you have to clip really close to the stitching, but be sure not to clip and uh, cut your stitching line. These are the tools I use to uh, turn things. And this is a point turner. And then this thing um, is a stuffing tool, but it's also used for um, uh, I can also use it to turn the points as well, get the points nice and sharp. Um, the long thing came with uh, the bag of polyfill, usually one of these tools does. Um, and I will also use it when I'm stuffing the owls with polyfill. And you'll want to be careful as you turn the points um, in projects um, because uh, with cotton, 
uh, you could go right through it. So you have to kind of gently do it. At this point in the project, I took a picture and sent it to my mom. And uh, at first she thought they were the ones that she used to have. And, uh, but she still said, oh, I want those. So um, I'm gonna finish them off and, and send them to her. Um, Cause if you know me, you know I need another owl like a hole in the head, so. My husband will be proud of me. And the stuffing tool. And when stuffing um, plush animals and amigurumi, whatever you're, whatever you're stuffing, um, you have to pack it really, really tight. Um, otherwise, you'll end up with something that looks only partially filled and will be really floppy. Um, I learned this tip from one of my friends. She uh, makes uh, plush animals and she invited me over for a stuffing party. And she had a bunch of plush animals ready, and, and she just told me, keep on stuffing until it looks nice and tight. And right here, I, this is a tip I learned from um, Amigurumi. Um, and I'm putting these uh, poly pellets at the bottom of these plush animals. And it'll help them... Um, be bottom heavy and sit right. And then I'm packing more polyfill in around them. Even more. We're not done yet. Okay. Now we're done. I like to wax my thread before hand sewing. It strengthens the thread and keeps it from knotting as much. And then I'm gonna sew this little thing closed. And the stitch I'm using here is a square slip stitch. It's really good for pillows and projects like this. And as you can see, the square slip stitch, um, you don't even see it on the outside. It looks like it's been machine stitched all the way around. There's a little bit of puckering, but that'll be um, eased out after I'm done. And this is a really nice finishing stitch.
not your thread. And then uh, I pull mine through so that you can't even see them right at the seam and then I clip it and it stays inside. Did it two more times with the other ones. And here is the finished project. I'll be shipping these off to my mom, but I really wanted to get some good pictures of them before I sent them to her. Fabric stores still carry uh, fabric panels. Um, these are vintage, of course, and you can find them all over eBay. Um, older ones but uh, but they still make new ones and uh, you can uh, sew them together with ease and not a lot of sewing skill and you'll have a beautiful project and oh my goodness it's snowing outside So I'm packing them up to send them to my mom. Thank you for watching and please check out my other crafting and sewing videos. I will link them at the end.